Hi everyone, in this problem we have two functions, f of x equals 3x minus 4 and g of x equals ax plus b. And the question is to find conditions on a and b so that the function compositions actually commute. Kind of an interesting problem. Um, I haven't done it yet, so this will be uh, kind of interesting. So solution. So I'm thinking the way to do this is we just compute each composition and then set them equal. So let's work on the left hand side first. So f o g of x. So this is equal to f of g of x. That's just the definition of f o g. Really easy to memorize this. It's just the same order, right? f g, f g. And then the way this works is um, you replace the inside piece here. So our inside piece is ax plus b. So this is actually f of ax plus b. And now um, you look at f. So f of x is equal to 3x minus 4. So here our x is this whole thing, right? That, that's our x. So it's 3x, but it's not x, it's ax plus b. And then we have minus 4. Let's go ahead and distribute here. We would get uh, 3ax plus 3b minus 4. I'm going to put this in a box because this is uh, the left-hand side, right? So we've worked it out. Let's go ahead and work out g o f of x. So g o f of x. So again, it's pretty easy to memorize. It's just g of f of x. Just the way it's written is the way you write it. It's pretty simple. And as before, we replace the inside piece. So the inside piece here is 3x minus 4. So that's our f, right? So we're going to replace that. So it'll be g of 3x minus 4. And so then now we look at g. So g of x is ax plus b. So this is equal to, so it's a. And then this whole thing is our x, okay? The 3x minus 4, so it's ax plus b. So that means it has to be a 3x minus 4 plus b. So this is equal to 3ax. And then a times 4 is uh, minus 4a. And then we have, we have the plus b here, so plus b. Interesting stuff. Okay, so now we need to figure out what a and b are or some conditions or so let, let's set them equal. I'll do it up here. So we have 3ax plus 3b minus 4 equals 3ax minus 4a plus b. Did that kind of quick, so let me just explain it. So I took this piece here, 3ax plus 3b minus 4. So that's this one, right? That's, that's f o g of x. And then we took this one here, 3ax minus 4a plus b, and that's this one. So just matching coefficients, you see that 3a is equal to 3a. So that really doesn't help us. I mean, if you write it down, you just get 3a equals 3a, you know, so, so useless. <laughs> but the constant terms must be the same. So 3b minus 4 must be equal to negative 4a plus b. And I guess now we can combine some like terms. Um, let's start maybe by uh, subtracting b from both sides. So that will give us 2b minus 4 equals negative 4a. And we can divide everything by 2 to make it a little bit better. So let's do that. So dividing this one by 2, dividing this one by 2, dividing this one by 2. Let's see what we get. We get b minus 2 equals negative 2a. So you could solve for b now pretty easily by adding 2. So b, b is equal to 2 minus 2a. That's a really sloppy 2 there. That's a plus 2. So that's the condition on a and b. b is equal to 2 minus 2a. You could probably rewrite it in another way. You could say, like, you know, b is equal to 2 times 1 minus a, uh, etc. And I don't think um, there's anything else we can use in the problem to, um, to make it better, right? So 
we've worked out uh, A and B, and so those are the conditions. So in general, you could actually plug it in. So if you have uh, if you have a x plus b, uh, what would commute with that? Uh, for it to commute with this, you would need you would need this condition here. So that's it.